hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel today we are going to look into a very quick tip and this quick tip is about finding variables with any or all missing values very easily before going into the details of this topic i would like to mention one important thing i might use the keyword variable and column interchangeably and it's okay as they are one and the same to better understand this let us look the example below here we have data set in which we have variables with some missing values or all missing values now the goal is to build two simple reports one showing column with any missing values and another one showing with columns with all missing values if you see in the case of call 5 it has all missing values whereas some of the columns have some missing values now let us look into how we can solve this problem this problem can be easily solved with the help of n levels in the proc freak n levels in the proc freak is an proc freak option now let us quickly look into the code the code is super simple wherein all we need to say is proc freak data equal to the data set on which we will be working and in this case it is test and we need to give n levels option and once we give n level options we get lot of results among which we are interested in number of variable levels and number of variable levels has four important columns the first one is variable which gives the information about variables in our data set and second one is levels levels gives distinct values in each variable for example if you look into call 1 we have 70 80 85 40 and two missing values and if you see here only one missing value can be considered as unique so we have five unique values and in the case of call 3 we have only 109 and 110 which indicates that we have only two distinct values and you can see that from the result here but we are more interested in these two other columns wherein we talk about missing levels and non-missing levels missing levels indicate whether there is a missing value for a variable or not in the case of call 1 call 2 call 4 and call 5 we have missing values and we can see that result in missing levels wherein we have the value of 1 wherever the missing value is there so this can help us to find any missing value related information and now let us look into non missing levels and non missing levels gives us distinct non missing values for example here we have four distinct values which are non missing so call 1 has four now let us look into call 2 here we have only three distinct non missing values so we should have the value of three for non missing levels and here the most important or interesting one is call 5 here we do not have any non missing values as all of them are missing so we will have the value of zero that indicates that this particular variable has all missing values now that by using missing levels and non missing levels we were able to figure it out that we can find any missing values or all missing values in a particular column very easily now let us see how we can build the report on this one to build the report all we need to do is first we need to capture these results into a data set it is again very simple all we need to do is we need to add ods output n levels equal to data set we want to write now let us quickly look into the data set which we have created above and in here we have the same four columns which we have described earlier in the report the only thing i want you to focus in here is the column which captures the information about 
all the columns which we have in our test data set is known as table var. Now let us look into how we can build different reports. And let's first look into the first one wherein we are talking about variables with any missing value. In here, I am doing proc print data equal to test one. This is the data set which we have created by using ODS output. And here in this proc print, as I want to find any variables with any missing values, I need to say where n miss level equal to one. And as I want to know only about the information about the columns, all I need to do is var statement. In this var statement, I am using table var. And this table var has information about columns. And now I want you to focus on a couple of other things. That is, I have two options in this proc print statement. First one is label and the second one is no ops. As I do not want to see any observation numbers in my report in here, I have used no ops. And also I wanted to use a label and I wanted to see my report little bit better. So I have used label statement in here and also I have used label option. In the label statement, I have used label table var equal to columns with any missing values so that I can see my column name little bit better. Now let us see how we can do the reporting for variables with all missing values. For this, I need to use the same proc print which I have shown you earlier with two changes. The first one is I'm using where and non miss levels equal to zero. And also I want to change the label statement wherein I will be using label table var equal to column with all missing values. This creates report as shown in here. Now let us summarize the whole thing. Before going into the details, I want to tell one important thing. That is I have pasted the initial data set in almost all slides so that it is easy to compare. In here also I am doing the same. I am pasting the initial data set in here. So to summarize how to find variables with any or all missing variables. First we need to do proc freak data equal to data set we want and use n levels. And also we need to use ODS output and capture this information in a data set. Once we capture this information in the data set, we are going to use where clause and this where clause for any missing value will be where n miss levels equal to one. And it creates a report as shown in here. And for the case of all missing values, we need to change our where statement. And in here, we are doing where n non miss levels equal to zero. And we are also going to give appropriate labels which we want in our reports. And that's all for this topic. If you have liked this topic, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thank you.